Uh, okay, so in this problem, we're asked to prove that bounded monotone sequences converge. Uh, so let's imagine that we have some sequence uh, in, and let's say that the sequence is, let's, let's just choose increasing. I'm not going to prove this for decreasing sequences because I, I suspect that the proofs are going to be basically the same. So consider an increasing sequence, a1, a2, a3, a4, a5, and on to infinity. Uh, okay, so what does it mean for this sequence to converge? Well, if it converges, it converges to some limit, uh, some, some number. Uh, and to converge to that number means that if we go far enough along in the sequence, then we can get within an arbitrary distance of that number. Uh, I think I can show this. In fact, not only do I think I can show this, I think I can show what it converges to. Because here we have a, a sequence that's going up and up and up and up and up, but we know it's bounded, so it has some roof. In fact, it has an infinite number of roofs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lowest roof, or the lowest upper bound, and I think I can show that the sequence a1, a2, a3, etc., converges to that lowest upper bound, or that least upper bound. So here's our sequence. Because it's bounded, it has an upper bound. Uh, let's call that upper bound u. In fact, it has an infinite number of upper bounds, right? u plus 1 is going to be an upper bound. u plus 2 is going to be an upper bound. u minus 1 might be an upper bound if, if, if we pick u to be kind of extravagantly big. But in particular, because this is a sequence of real numbers, since it's bounded, it has an upper bound. In particular, it has a least upper bound. So of all the upper bounds, we pick the least one. It has a least upper bound. Let's call that uh, b. So I'm going to claim that this sequence converges to b. Now what do I have to do to show that it converges to b? Well, I have to say, suppose we have some distance, epsilon. I want to show that if I go far enough along in the sequence, I can get within epsilon of b. So we need to show that uh, there exists some number, some index far enough along in the indices 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. Let's say big M, such that a big N, a big N plus 1, a big N plus 2, etc. All of these numbers are within epsilon of B. Now, since B is a least upper bound, I want to note that B minus epsilon is not an upper bound. Because if it were an upper bound, we have this number that's smaller than b. So we have this least upper bound. We have b minus epsilon, which is smaller. And if this were itself an upper bound, that would mean that this is not the least upper bound. So b minus epsilon is not an upper bound at all. So what does that mean? It means that it gets broken, right? It's not a roof. So this means that there exists something that breaks that false ceiling. So there exists some term in the sequence, let's say A sub capital M, which is bigger than B minus epsilon. And since this sequence is increasing, since it's going up and up and up, once this kind of artificial ceiling is broken, it's broken by all subsequent terms as well. So B minus epsilon is not an upper bound, which means there exists some break of that kind of false, uh, that, the, the non-upper bound. And so since our sequence is increasing, a m plus 1, a m plus 2, a m plus 3, and so on, are all 
z then b minus epsilon and smaller than b. Now why are they smaller than b? Because b is an upper bound. Right? b is the least upper bound, but it's certainly an upper bound. And so what we have is uh, we have an infinite number of terms, uh, that are, are an infinite tail in the sequence, am, am plus 1, am plus 2, am plus 3, which are all within epsilon of b. In particular, they're between b minus epsilon and b. Uh, and b. So what that tells us is that there does exist a number such that a sub that number and all subsequent terms in the sequence are within epsilon of b. And that concludes the proof. Now I'll, I'll point out maybe just in passing that the, the most conceptually odd part of this is maybe this line here. In particular, it has a least upper bound b. Uh, that's not always true, but in this setting it is. Uh, 